tell them to tune in that the Perfect Peace Bible Church, yeah, is on the air, getting ready, getting ready, getting ready, getting ready. How we thank and praise God. Yeah. Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters. How we thank and praise God. Amen. To be in the radio booth one more time, streaming live, ktymgospel.com. Yes, amen. And then how we thank and praise God for you, my Facebook brothers and sisters, as we make ready, as we make ready, as we make ready. Yes, amen. Coming to you live, 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 streaming live. This is the Perfect Peace Bible Church Ministry. Yes, amen. Where our theme is, amen, if you make the step, God will send the help. Yeah, God will send the help. Yes, he will. Uh-huh. If you make the step, God will send the help. How we bless, amen, the name of God that once again he has looked beyond me and your faults. Yeah, met I every need that the blood is still running warm in your vein. Somebody said, amen. Uh, how can you say that, amen, I'm this and that? Well, you still got a chance. You still have a chance. Yes, you do. You still have a chance. You still have a chance, my brothers and sisters. We're trying to, amen, invite, amen, some of our friends, yeah, family and loved ones to encourage them that God is still in the blessing business. Yes, he is. God is still in the blessing business. Yeah, so call a friend, tell them to tune in, that Pastor C.L. Ashley, yes, of the Perfect Peace Bible Church, is on the air. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, amen. Call them and tell them we got a rhema word for you this afternoon. Yeah, got a rhema word for you this afternoon. Uh well, we ain't going to worry about that. We're going to let that alone. Yeah, amen. But we're on the air streaming live, ktymgospel.com once again. Yes, amen. Call a friend. Tell them to tune in that your humble servant, Pastor C.L. Ashley, yes, is on the airway. How we thank and praise God for this past week, busy week. Yeah, but we are here. Amen. To share once again with you what thus saith the Lord. Now, uh, let us get our, amen, uh, uh, with the word I want to use, our appreciation. Yeah, our appreciation for our sponsors. Yeah, our appreciation for our sponsors that, that amen, believe and what we are doing. That's just sharing Jesus, our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ with us and encouraging you for we are a church with concern for the whole man, not just your spiritual growth, amen, but your prosperity, yes, while the blood is still running warm in your veins. Yes, that's the plan that the God that we serve has for us. Yes, amen. So let me acknowledge, amen, our sponsors, Sister Kelly Walker Nickerson, uh, yes, of uh, uh, Keller Williams Realty. If you want to buy a home, yes, amen, you got property that you need managing, give Sister Kelly Walker Nickerson a call. Yeah, give her a call. Let her know, amen, that uh, the Perfect Peace Bible Church, yeah, Reverend, C.L. Ashley referred to. Then let us not forget, amen, Jay's hauling, Jay's hauling. Jay said he be hauling and bawling. Yeah, yeah Jay's hauling. That number is 323 uh, 835. Yeah, 2101. Give Jay a call, amen. And Jay, I want you to know if you're tuned in that we're praying for you and the family and the transition and the home going of your aunt yes amen and yeah, we're praying for you my brother and then let i i in no way i can ever forget amen pastor gregory white yeah 
of the Lord House of Prayer for all people. Yeah, through the rough side of the mountain, Pastor Gregory White stood by our side, yes, in the work of mission, yes, in the work of mission. And then I knew, amen, sponsor, uh, yeah, Mr. Fix-It, Mr. Fix-It. Yeah, give one a call. Just, amen, Google yeah, that uh, had all those numbers with me. But yeah, here it is right here. Amen, give one a call. That number is, uh, uh, help me, Holy Ghost, 323-447-6478. Yeah, give one a call, Mr. Fix-It. Yeah, and he'll do you well. That number once again is 323-447-6475. Mr. Fix-It is in the business of, yeah, amen, air conditioning and heating, appliance repair, and flat screen TVs. Yeah, they wide up in all of that, so give them a call. Yes, amen. And then I'm on, I keep forgetting, but I know I keep uh, Sister Kelly Walker Nickerson. Yeah, your card in my book, y'all. Yes, in my book. But uh, we thank and praise God for her. She's uh, her uh, office is located on Larchmont Avenue, Keller Williams. Realty on Lachmont Avenue. Yes, amen. On Lachmont Avenue in the city of Inglewood. Well, I thought I had it anyway. But <laughs> bless the name of Jesus. Amen. For this opportunity to share with you. Now, uh, we are located, the Perfect Peace Bible Church. We are located downtown Los Angeles, California about 10 minutes out of the big city, yeah, out of the streets of the big city of Los Angeles, California. We're located at 111-51-53 South Broadway Avenue. Yes, that's 111-51-53 South Broadway Avenue in the city of Los Angeles, California, right on the corner of 111th Place and Broadway Avenue, yeah, zip code 90061. Yes, our order of service, yeah, every Sunday, every Sunday at 10.30 a.m., where our doors swing open on the hinges of welcome, yeah, and then again at 6 p.m. in the evening time, yes, in the evening time, yes, at 6 p.m., yes, and with this daylight uh saving time yeah amen uh, we say 6 p.m in the afternoon yeah so stop by amen and join in as we lift up the name of jesus yes then my brothers and sisters on wednesday on wednesday at 7 p.m our family affair our family affair yes amen bible study yeah, then on Thursday, your humble servant goes into the sanctuary for an hour of power of prayer. Yes, amen. Listening at God and, amen, thanking and praying, amen, and making our supplication and our request known unto him on the behalf of those that have called and requested prayer. And then every first and third Friday at 7 p.m., our healing and deliverance service, our healing and deliverance services. Yeah, healing and deliverance service. That's every first and third Friday. Join in. Amen. We have testimony that people are being blessed. Amen. By our services. Then on Saturday, yes, on Saturday, as I am right now, streaming live on the World Wide Web, and to you, my Facebook brothers and sisters, yes, to you as well, amen, here at ktymgospel.com. Download the app, yeah, download the app, download the app. Then catch us on YouTube as well, amen, if you want to check us out, yeah, catch us on YouTube if you want to check us out under the banner, 
yeah, of ktymgospel.com. Then how we thank and praise God for, amen, the CEO and engineer, Dr. Thomas Blackwell, who makes this possible for us. Yeah, who makes this possible. We're just trying to be that witness that God has called us to be. Now, let me correct that. We are that witness that God has called us to be. Yes, yeah, striving, amen, reaching. Yes, as the Apostle Paul told us in, a, in, a, in Philippians 3 and 13, forget about those things that are behind us. Yeah, we're, we're being that witness wherever we go. We try to let our light shine that Jesus is still in the soul-saving business. Now, for you, my brothers and sisters, please, please don't forget Amen. Our 24-hour prayer line. That number has changed. Yeah, that number has changed from 6467. Yeah, amen. Let me get it right. That number has changed from 7557418. We'll be getting that together with our advertisement in the glorified Christian time. That number has changed to 323. Yeah, 873. 6066. Once again, our 24 hour prayer line is a uh, amen. Uh, praise God. They keep changing them. <laughs> I'll get it together. <laughs> yeah, amen. Uh, once again, our 24 7 prayer line is 863 Yes, amen. Then, if you want to hit uh, the church up, uh, me, amen, that's 323-412-3979. Once again, that's 323-412-3979. And the engineer just uh, shot me a piece of paper. If you're going to download, amen, KTYM, Internet broadcast is ktymgospel.net. That's ktymgospel.net. So, amen. Uh, those are uh, uh, some of our announcements. We acknowledge, we just want to acknowledge our sponsors uh, who makes this possible. And then to you, my brothers and sisters, yes, to you, to you, to you. Amen. How we thank and praise God for your donation and your support as well, as well. Amen. And that the Bible said, God loves a cheerful giver. Yeah, God loves a cheerful giver. Uh-huh. I guess this one ain't working. I can't hear myself. Let me just take that off. <laughs> yeah, let me just take that off. Amen. How Amen. Been a, I want to say amen to my good friends, uh, Sister Johnny Mae Green. Amen. The reason I didn't make it, I was, amen, feeling a little, amen, burnt out. Yes, and as I was telling the engineer, I'm learning how to listen to my body. Yeah, amen. When it gets to the point where Amen. It, it, it's uh, burdensome to try to make a move. I sat down, you know, I, I really do. Amen. But God has been good. Amen. I feel good. It just was one of those days. Yes, amen. I missed a couple of appointments that I had committed to do. And it wasn't about no NBA. No, I cut the phone off and went to sleep yes amen got in but i'm here tonight and if the lord said the same i'll be amen on the corner of 111 place in broadway avenue yeah tomorrow morning then i want to amen let you know amen that we are praying for you as i was scanning some things i want to uh, pastor elton Johnson, and to know that we are praying for him, his wife, amen, and their son, 
you know, lifting them up in prayer. And uh, Mother Esther Taylor of the Perfect Peace Bible Church who fell and fractured her leg. I want you to know that we are praying for you. Then Sister Veronica Hines, that's in the convalescent. Sister Hines, I want you to know that we are praying for you. Yeah, we're, we are praying for not only those names that we are mentioned, then, yes, my dad, I call him dad, the Reverend Fred Thompson of Ebenezer Missionary Baptist Church. I want you to know that, that we are praying for you. Yes, we are praying for you. Amen. And then, my brothers and sisters, please don't forget, amen, you that know the words of prayer, to pray for us. Yeah, to pray for us. Those that have called in, requested prayer. Yes, and Pastor Beasley of Moments of Meditation, Missionary Baptist Church. Doc, I want you to know that we are praying for you. My good friend, yeah, Pastor Charles Williams, yes, amen, of Promised Land Missionary Baptist Church. And brother, I want you to know that, amen, you're on our prayer list and we are praying for you. And now, tomorrow at 3 o'clock, tomorrow at 3 o'clock, we'll be fellowshipping with, uh, amen, Sunrise Community Baptist Church, Pastor Joseph Rogers, Jr., yeah, that, that's at 3 p.m. You'll be celebrating the 30th church anniversary and the Perfect Peace Bible Church will be in attendance. Yeah, we'll be in attendance, amen, doing whatever they have requested us to do. But then at 6 o'clock, we'll be right back at the Perfect Peace Bible Church. Yes, we will. And once again, I want to thank and praise God for my sponsors, yeah, my sponsors, uh, Mr. Fix-It, yeah, amen, uh, air conditioning, heating, uh, yeah, and yeah, they do service, in installation, and maintenance, appliance repair, and I believe they do flat screen TVs as well, amen, yes, amen, then, um, this is, my brother, yeah, my brother, brother pastor, uh, yeah, Gregory White of the Lord House of Prayer for all people, for all people, yeah, amen. And brother Gregory White, uh, church is located at 9318 Southwestern Avenue, Los Angeles, California, 90047, I believe, uh, yes, amen. If you're riding up and down Western Avenue, you get around 93rd. Check him out on Sunday morning. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then there's Sister Kelly Walker Nickerson. Yes. Uh, Keller Williams Realty. How we thank and praise God for Sister Kelly Walker Nickerson of Lot of Keller, Keller Walker. Yeah. I believe I got that right. Keller Williams Realty. Yeah, Keller Williams Realty on Lochmont Avenue in the city of Inglewood. Yes, and then Jay's hauling. Jay said he'd be hauling and balling. Yeah, give Jay a call if you got need a garage clean out. Yeah, uh, house clean out. Yeah, Jay's young man, entrepreneur. Amen does termiting as well and some renovation i believe give jay a call that number yes once again is 323-835 yeah mm -hmm, 2101 then mr fix it one one who is a certified technician yeah 323-447-6475 and please, my brothers and sisters, amen. Yes, amen. If you need prayer, don't hesitate to call. We are, uh, yeah, we are a person. Yeah, yeah, I'm a person that I've learned, amen, that prayer changes things. Uh, yeah, the, the, all the titles, amen, and that come out. But I'm a person that needs prayer like you. 
And I found out in studying and meditating in God's word as if he had to pray. Yeah, what about me and you? And his example was setting an example for us. Yeah, find you, amen, a special place, amen, that you can go, amen, and just you and God, yeah, just you and the Holy Ghost, yeah, step into your secret closet and, amen, you can tell him all about it. You can tell him all about it. Yes, yes, you can tell him all about it. Amen. So those are our announcements. Amen. Pray that, amen, you would, uh, amen, follow us. Yeah, follow us not only here in, on the broadcast, but on Facebook as well as YouTube. Yes, we share so, the word of God. Well, we are a witness. Yeah, we are a witness. The, the God we serve, yeah, Jesus, the Christ, yes, he, he does just what he say he'll do. Yes, amen. And then, my brothers and sisters, just for a few minutes, amen. Our, our nation, yes, our nation needs our prayer. Our nation needs our prayer, amen. Well, like humanity, yeah, humanity has come to the point where we don't care nothing about life. Yeah, we don't care nothing about life. I, I, most of the time, uh, the only news we get, amen, is bad news. But I thank God for the bad news because it teaches me to stay out of certain areas, amen, and to spend my time, yes, amen, where <laughs> I can see, yeah, to, to stay out of certain areas and, and, and spend my time where I can see. What do you mean, Brother Pastor? I mean that, amen, if I'm not in church at night, yeah, if I'm not in church at night, uh, uh, I have received an emergency call where I need to be somewhere, I'm at home. Yeah, I'm at home. Yeah, I'm at home. That That's what I mean by that, amen. There was a time, yeah, there was a time in my life, amen, that it hasn't been squeaky clean when I've been in the streets all night long, but I I thank God for his word, amen, and God talk us, amen, that the Holy Ghost, amen, moved upon them, and they left it on record, as, amen, their history, amen, and their mission that they shared with our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ as he walked this dusty earth for 33 years. When I was a child, I acted like a child, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> amen. But now that I became a man, yes, amen. I haven't been perfect, amen. But yes, I, I don't do childish things anymore. No, no, I tell my children, I'm the best friend you can ever have, but we can't be buddies. You find your buddies wherever you go but I'm the best friend you ever have. And I come to let somebody know that you can talk to Jesus. Yeah, you can talk to him anytime, anywhere, amen. And as he, amen, took our hand and took, uh, yeah, the Father's hand, amen, the Holy Ghost, yes, amen, will take your hand. Amen. And look to our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Yes. It, 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 once you become a born-again Christian, I ain't talking about no church goers. Amen. That's all right. But once you become a born-again Christian, amen, God, yeah, amen, will make your request, amen, known unto you. That's why we call him our Jehovah Jireh. Yes, he, he will provide. Yes, he will provide. He will provide. Yeah. And I just, today, yeah, didn't feel that well, but I just kept praying as I, amen, as I would open my eyes, like every 
three or four hours, I, I would just have a little prayer, as the song said, have a little talk with Jesus. Yeah, have a little talk with Jesus. Once again, my brothers and sisters, I we thank and praise God, amen, that he has made it possible, yeah, for us, yeah, to share, yeah, to be that witness, uh, one, one of those witnesses that he have called for such a time as this, yeah, for such a time as this, he the one, along with you, that makes it possible that we can come, amen, and share with you. And yes, that we can come and share with you. Uh, now, um, once again, I want to share my auto services with you. Our auto services here at the uh, Perfect Peace Bible Church, downtown Los Angeles, California. Yeah, amen. And so thankful to God, yeah, that, amen, for social media and how it, it it has, amen, broadened our, a ministry. I got a call from a friend of mine all the way out of Tacoma, Washington. Yeah, out of Tacoma, Washington, and told me, amen, and shared with me how Amen. Our ministry. Yes, how he enjoys our ministry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How he enjoys uh, how he enjoys our ministry. So we are thankful to God for that. Now, my brothers and sisters, as we get ready, amen. Once again, as we get ready to share with you what God has laid on my mind, yes, in my heart what God has laid on my mind and my heart to share with you, amen. I uh, shared, amen, part one of this message with you, yes, on Resurrection Sunday, which was last Sunday, but I want to co complete it tonight. I want to complete it tonight, amen, and today, amen, with you. And some of you, amen, may have tuned in, uh, yes, on last Sunday, but uh, the word is always good. Uh, the word is always good. And don't forget our, our prayer line. Please don't forget our prayer line. Don't forget our prayer line. Yeah, that uh, new uh, prayer line, yeah, 24-7 um, is 323 eight seven three six zero six six uh vice versa i'm getting it together but i know that the area code is three two three the dial tone is eight seven three and the phone number is eight seven three six zero six six uh six 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 zero yeah just try both of them Amen. And you're bound to get our 24-hour, uh, yeah, seven days a week prayer line. Then if you got a personal question for me, it's church number, amen, I keep it in my pocket. Y'all y'all know what that is. 323-412-3979. That's 323-412-3979. Yeah. Yes, we are church, amen, that has a concern for the whole man. Yeah, yeah, not just your spiritual growth, but your prosperity in this life as well. Yes, amen. All glory, amen. And our radio theme, we are the Perfect Peace Bible Church, radio broadcast. And we declare, if you make this step, God will send the help. I might as well add this one to it too. If you can feel it, God can heal it. Some of us are going around worrying about things that we don't have no control over in our body, not, not just in our bodies, in our life. Amen. And we emotionally, amen, shook up and broke up. But I come to tell somebody, be encouraged tonight. Yes, be encouraged tonight. 
Be encouraged, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Be encouraged. Yes, be encouraged. Be encouraged tonight. Yes, amen. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Amen. Praise God. Yes, amen. We shared with you on Resurrection Sunday out of the 24th chapter. Yeah, out of the 24th chapter. Amen. Um, about an empty grave and a missing person. Yes, amen. Yeah, an empty grave and a missing person. And I want to just, amen, tag the second half of this message, amen, about the other side of Calvary. Yeah, the other side of Calvary. We oftentimes, amen, we're going back, amen, to where it first began. But God is calling us, amen, to be a light. Yeah, God is calling us to be a light, amen, in this world. Yes, he's calling us to be a light in this world. Let me just share something with you, amen. In Matthew, where Matthew presents him as King of King and Lord of Lords. Yeah, the fifth chapter, if you bear with me here tonight, amen. The fifth chapter of St. Matthew, beginning at the 13th verse. And then I always like to give people, amen, without getting caught up what version yeah what version i'm reading from and this is amen the new american standard bible yeah version of the word of god amen and in matthew the fifth chapter it tells us that we are yeah you are the salt of the earth but if the salt has become tasteless how will it be made salty again it is good for nothing anymore except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. Yeah, we are, yeah, you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Uh, and as we look at the skyscrapers, yes, amen, in our cities and as we are traveling the highways and byways, yeah, yes, we are. And then and Matthew, these are Jesus' words, amen, that he spoke to his, the apostles and his followers during that time, that time, biblical time. Nor do men light a lamp and put it under the peck measure, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. And he reminds us in this 16th verse, my brothers and sisters, let our light shine before men in such a way that they may see our good works and glorify him, yeah, who is in heaven now, sitting at the right hand of the Father. Yes, amen. He's in heaven now, sitting at the right hand of the Father. But thank God he did not leave us alone. No, he did not leave us alone, my brothers and sisters. No, amen. He sent the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Yes, amen. Yeah, he sent us a Comforter. Yes, the, amen. Lead and guide us into all truth. Yes, amen. So, amen. Yeah, what do we do on the other side of Calvary? Amen. Yes, amen. Uh, well, amen, Matthew, Jesus spoke these words to let us know what we are to do, amen. We are, amen, to be a witness that he came, yes, amen, he came, yes, amen. He did miracles, yes, did miracles that the text says, amen, John says, amen, if there would not be enough paper to handle all the things that Jesus did while he walked these mundane shores, uh, yes, of this earth, yes, of this earth. No, there would not be enough, amen, to tell it all. So, amen, so we have to be the witness, yes, and we need to be the witness, yes, amen, as the uh, yeah, as those women asked, where was Jesus? 
He was not in the tomb. And they had carefully searched the tomb. And they had heard the angels say that Jesus was not there. No need to go to the soldiers to ask them about Jesus. For they had been told to say that his body had been stolen while they slept. Amen. They could only bow their heads. Yes, they could only bow their heads and weep. And the angel said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? Yes, amen. And the dead can't be a witness, but their works can. Amen. Their work, yes, uh huh. As a John said, amen, blessed are those that die in the Lord, for they rest from their labor and their works do follow them. Aren't you glad about it? Amen. That we have a history, amen, in these 66 books. Yeah, we, we have a history, amen. We have substantiation that we see things that are happening in this world today. Yeah, at this hour. Yeah. Man, as I was walking out the house, yes, yeah, amen, I was, as I was walking out the house, there was a, a news report up in Northridge where some men were just painting over graffiti, and the car drove up, amen, and just started shooting, left a 60-year-old man dead, just trying to do work, yeah, trying to do a good deed, yeah, amen. Thank you, amen. Thank you, Sister Tanya, amen. And I pray that, amen, I was watching you, amen, tweet that you're enjoying, you're enjoying from the break with the center state. <laughs> Praise God, amen. Tell my daughter, amen. Yes, amen. That was Sister Rose, Sister Tanya, no. <laughs> yeah, Sister Rose, uh, amen. Yes, but God bless you all. Amen. And thank God that you all had a great time down in NOLA, as they said. Amen. Yeah, thank you, Brother Jimmy, for tuning in. But back to the message, amen. We just can't be weeping, amen, and crying over everything that comes into our life. Sometimes we, we, we got to know that all things is working together for our good. Yeah, for our good. And you got to speak that. Amen. Disappointment is working together for our good. And I come to, amen, to testify, amen. Everything that happened to me, amen, don't be good. But everything that good that do happen to me, God did it, and he's able, yes, he's able, amen, to bring me through, yes, he's able to bring me through my trials and tribulations, and I just try to do my best, yeah, to let my light shine, yes, as a neighbor he told me this morning, he's doing the best he can, and I just encourage him, don't worry about it, that's all God asks us to do the best that we can. Let us get back to the text, amen. As the, as the angel, amen, sitting on that stone, asking, why seek ye the living among the dead? Why look for a living Christ among dead tombstones? And my brothers and sisters, and I want to share with you right there, amen. Quit, amen, dwelling, amen, on, on things that have you burdened down. As my grandfather used to teach me, son, while you're worrying about it, amen, you could be figuring out a way how to repair it or fix it. And I want to encourage you, there is a way. Yes, amen. Whatever it is, that God has an answer. Yes, he does. Amen. Yeah. And they said, because he is missing, and we know not where to find him. Amen. And that's what the adversary would have us to do. Amen. When we uh, approach with problems, uh, amen, we are led or uh, deceived. Amen. Well, I come to encourage you tonight. If God allows you to get to it, 
He can get you through it. Yes, he can. Yes, I'm a living witness today that we don't serve a dead God. He's alive, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Yes, and he will speak to your heart. Yes, amen. Let, let me make it plain to you. He will speak to your spirit. He will speak to your mind. Yes, amen. And sometimes we have to get out of the physical realm, amen, and just delve into, dive into, yeah, put the hammer down into the, our spirit, amen, and let the Holy Ghost talk to us. Yeah, amen. Yeah, and, and then those three marriages, amen, we don't know where to find them. Well, I come to tell you, he can be found now. Yeah, and they say they may have moved his body, and if so, if so, we know not where they have laid it. But about that time, look at Jesus. Look at Jesus. Jesus surrendered a man to his seekers and said, I am he that you are looking for. Yeah, yeah. I am the, yeah, the one dead and risen Savior the one that made vacant the grave of Lazarus and stopped the funeral train just outside of the city of Nain. I am he that is the resurrection and the life. Do you believe it today, my brothers and sisters, that Jesus is alive and he can't die no more? No, he can't die no more. Amen. No, he's alive. Yes, he's alive today. Amen. Uh, Yes, and not only, amen, is he alive today, he's the first and the last. Yes, he's the beginning and the end. Yes, he is. Yes, like sorrows and, and fears, amen. When you find Jesus, yes, amen. Yeah, your fears turn into joy. Yes, amen. And you ought to tell somebody, amen, too many times, Amen. That we are hiding. Yeah, we, we we are hiding our faith. We don't want people to, amen, think, amen, that we are a Christian, that we love the Lord. No, 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 please don't do that. Amen. With the Bible, Jesus spoke that if you be ashamed of me before men, I'll be ashamed of you, amen, before my father. And he's coming back. Somebody said, well, when? I don't know when, but one thing I do know, that he's coming back. Yes, he's coming back. And I believe, yes, in my sanctified soul, that he's on his way back. He's on his way back as we watch, amen. Yes, in the beginning of spring around Fort Lauderdale, Florida, where over almost two inches of rain fell in some parts of Broward County, Florida, in the city of Fort Lauderdale, and uh, less than 24 hours. So much water, they had to shut down. Yes, amen, they had to shut down the airport for a couple of days. God is real, and he's speaking to us. Yeah, he's speaking to us. And I want to encourage you, my brothers and sisters, amen. Put him first. Put him first, amen. Uh, yes, I, I go, to, yeah, I'm fixing to get back into it. I'm to meet, amen, new people that have come along in my hobby, amen, on the 11 meter band, CBN, amen, ham. Yeah, I'm got a little time that I can spend back into it, but amen. Wherever I go, as the text said, yeah, I'm going to let my light shine. Yeah. And I'm going to let my light shine. Yeah, that somebody will know that I love the Lord. Yeah. I love the Lord. And I don't have to debate like I tell people, I don't have to argue the gospel. No, I don't have to argue the gospel. I just tell you what the Bible said. And give you 
the explanation like the Holy Ghost have given it to me because I've studied, yeah, I've prayed, I've meditated. Yes, amen. And like I say, amen, I'm the first to admit that I don't know everything. And I know a whole lot of people that know more than me. Yeah, that know more than me. But it ain't about, amen, them degrees I got on the wall. Uh, yeah, in the office of the Perfect Peace Bible Church. It's not about the appreciation plaques and certificates of appreciation. I appreciate it. And I'm humbled, yeah, and honored that somebody think enough of me. Amen. To award me as I was watching, uh, <laughs> I never met him. He may call himself B.A. Bad Attitude. Yeah, I was, we were 413 and uh, Jimmy sent him a hammer. Amen. No, it, 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 I, I'm humbly, yeah, honored and, and grateful, amen, that somebody think enough of me to have awarded me. Amen. Plaques and things. But my brothers and sisters, it's all about him. Yeah. And my question to us today, what are we going to do? Amen. On the other side of Calvary. Well, I'm glad you asked. The one thing he instructed us, yeah, amen, in Acts 1 and 8, to be a witness for me wherever you go. Yeah. Be a witness with me. Don't tell nobody I'm still in the graveyard. No, no, I'm I, I'm not in the graveyard. Yeah, I'm everywhere. Yeah, I, I'm everywhere. Amen. Yeah, and I'm, yeah, spiritually, I, I'm sitting at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for you. Yes, amen. So, let our fears, amen, turn into joy that whatever's going on in our lives, yes, amen, that uh, the God we serve knows, uh, he knows it, amen. And I tell you, I want to share this with you. It's always a joy to find Jesus. Yeah, it's always a joy to find Jesus. And I want to know tonight, amen, have you found him yet? Have you found our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, that you know without a doubt that you love God? Yeah, that you love God. Amen. And you put him first in your life. Yes, amen. Yeah, you put him first in your life. And then, amen, I, that way, amen, we know how to conduct ourselves even in the midst, amen, of our breaks, yes, our conventions, our conferences, yeah, that we know how to conduct ourselves, that those that don't know him and haven't accepted him in the pardon of their sin, they will know that there is something different about you. Yeah, there's something different about you. Yes, amen. Yeah, there's something different about you. My brothers and sisters, amen. And then once again, how we thank and praise God, yeah, for this privilege to share with you tonight, share with you tonight that God has and is good to us, amen. And then I want you to, amen, tell a friend about us. Yeah, tell a friend about us. Tell them, amen, to download this app of the ktymgospel.net. I've been sharing with you that it was ktymgospel.com, but it has changed to ktymgospel.net. Yeah, gospel.net. And please, please, amen, you that are in the Southern California area, yeah, yes, and especially in the city of Los Angeles and surrounding areas if you would amen need some of our sponsors give them a call give them a call and let them know amen that the perfect peace bible church yeah referred to yeah amen 
So God is speaking to us, my brothers and sisters. Yes, he's speaking in Mother Nature. Yeah, he's even speaking, amen, in our daily lives of, as we watch news and, and hear about certain things that's going on. Yes, amen. And even though bad things happen to good people, amen, yeah, bad things happen to good people. But God has you. Yeah, God has you in his hand. God has you in his hand. And he's a too holy, too righteous. Yeah, amen, too loving. I tell people God didn't, amen, send nobody to hell. No, God didn't send nobody to hell. Didn't come here to send nobody to hell. If you go to hell, it's of your own will. Yeah, that, that, that you desire. God gave us, and when he created us, gave our, us our own, amen, will to do right, obey him, or disobey him. And if you disobey him, you're hell bound. And I ain't talking about, amen, no, because you drink, uh, yeah, because you get high, amen, that won't send you to hell. I don't believe it will. No, I don't believe it. it'll send you to hell. It'll just make you catch a lot of hell. Yeah, it'll just make you catch a lot of hell. Not only, amen, in your spirit, but in your physicality too. Yeah, in your physicality too. But watch God, amen, when you accept our Lord and Savior, how he turns that thing around. Yeah, he'll turn it around. Yes, he will. Yes, I'm a living witness that he will turn it around. He will turn it around. Then how we thank and praise God for you that haven't waited, amen, and acknowledge that you are listening to this uh, broadcast. Yeah, you're listening to this broadcast. Now, my brothers and sisters, we're just like you. We are going through, but as I tell you, we are not a begging church. We are a sharing church. Yeah, we are a sharing church. Amen. If you want to help us to stay on the airway, help us to stay on the airway. <clears throat> yeah, our cash app is money sign. Charles Ashley, PPBC. Yeah, once again, I, 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 if you want to be a supporter of this ministry and be blessed of the Lord, yeah, our cash app is money sign. Yeah, Charles Ashley, PPBC. And our Zelle account is 323 412 three nine seven nine chase bank that's three two three four one two three nine seven nine chase bank yes amen and once again our, our auto service please please tune in tomorrow sister tanya tune in tomorrow yes we got a rain of word for you amen yes uh, brother jimmy davis tune in tomorrow we got a rain of word for you tomorrow our auto service is 10.30 a.m., yes, on Sunday and 6 p.m. We're going over, amen, and support Sunrise Community Baptist Church of Pastor Joseph Rogers, Jr. at 3 o'clock. But we'll be right back in the house <clears throat> at 6 p.m. So, yes, amen. That's tomorrow, Sunday. Yeah, tomorrow, Sunday. And then how we bless and thank God, amen, for a little preacher up in Petersburg, Virginia, and what they were doing again today, yes, today, uh, yesterday, uh, today one, amen, as we seen the video, yeah, on Facebook. But I, I thank and praise God for all of my brothers and sisters that tune in, that them that Amen. I, I have a matter, just know you through social media. Yeah, and that's my job. Amen. To share Jesus. 
That's my number one job, my brothers and sisters, to share Jesus. Yeah, with all of us. Yeah, with all of us. Those that listen, those that don't listen. You know, I'm a firm believer. The atheists say he, amen, don't believe in God. But he knowing. Yeah, yeah he knowing. And any man that has been born of a woman, yeah, they know God. Yeah, they know God. They might not believe in him. They might not, amen, serve him. But they know him. Yes, they know him. Yeah. And this is a growing process, my brothers and sisters. And I come to tell you once again, amen, that he's not in the grave. As the book says, yeah, the B-I-B-L-E says, he sits at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for us. <clears throat> making intercession for us. Then we solicit, amen, not only your support, but those of you that know the words of prayer. Yeah, mention the Perfect Peace Bible Church. Yes, amen, of Los Angeles, California, Pastor C.L. Ashley, yeah, in your prayers, that we'll stay on the wall, yeah, amen, and pardoning and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, yeah, the grace of God, yeah, to each and every one know that if God brought you to it, amen, he, he's able to bring you through it. And a lot of things, <clears throat> a lot of things, yeah, that we go through, amen, it's our fault, amen. A lot of times, amen, we are looking for God in the wrong place, amen. And what I mean by that, amen, our spirit, yeah, our spirit, amen, that we are looking for God in the wrong place. We, we are looking for God in the storm, Amen. And he's trying to tell us to come on through. Amen. I got you. I got you. Yeah, what's that? The 14th chapter of St. Uh, Matthew, once again, where Peter, amen, Jesus came to him and walking on the water. And Peter asked Jesus, Master, if it be you, bid me, permit me to come unto you. And long as Peter kept his eyes on Jesus, hear me, my brothers and sisters, long as Peter kept his eyes on Jesus, he was able to walk on the water. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Amen. But the minute he took his eyes off Jesus and started looking at the storms, amen, that pops up in our life, he began to sink. Yeah. But look at God. He's a forgiving God. Amen. I tell people, Amen. No, he's more than a second chance God. Yes, amen. He, he, he's a, amen, accepting and loving God. That if you will give him, yes, amen, his proper place in your life. Yes, and like I said, if he can, if he allow you to get to it, he'll get you through it. Amen. Why don't you accept him today? Amen. Why don't you accept him today and tell him like I told him one time. Yeah. Lord, amen. I've been trying it my way. But I'm going to try it your way now. And God has not failed me yet. I want to encourage you, my brothers and sisters. Yeah. Amen. Try the God of my salvation, Jesus the Christ. Yeah. Try the God of my salvation. Yeah, try the God of my salvation. Amen. Jesus the Christ, who was slain before the foundation of the world, came all the way down through 42 generations, born of a virgin. Yeah. Born of a virgin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Walked this old dust earth for some 30 years. Yeah. Went on to an old rugged cross. And look how he took care of us. Yeah. Through the first three verses. Took all of our sins on him. On the first three saying, took all of our sins upon him. 
that four verse asked this father, Father, why hast thou forsaken me? But God hadn't forsaken him in that sense. He had forsaken a man, the sin that he had taken on. Yeah, the sins of the world that God the Father could not look at sin. Yeah. But he's alive today. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Amen. I hope that we share some words of encouragement for you. Amen. That God is not dead. He's alive. He's alive. In whatever condition, position, or condition that you are in, amen, and it's disquieting and troubling your spirit, call on him. Call on him. And he will answer your prayer. Know that the Perfect Peace Bible Church once again say, if you make the step, God will send the help. If you can feel it, God can heal it. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. I would thank and praise God for you.